You know, with everything we got on a ball, we ought to be able to make something out of ourselves. Something that, something decent, something that uh, the noise of afraid of the daylight. <laughs> You, didn't he? Don't you? He had his arms around you. He kissed you, didn't he? Did he? Don't you remember? Didn't it mean anything to you? Not what he thought it meant. I left my handkerchief upstairs. I get it. No. No. I get it myself. Not a sou. You're crazy. Must be there. I looked. There's nothing. He's got it, I know. Louis, no! Why not? If he's got it, we'll take it. If he's hidden it, he'll tell us where it is. It's easy. Luca knows I'm with him. If anything happens... Ah, oh, we're wasting time. Listen! I worked a long time for this money. I'm not going to lose it because you're a hot-headed fool. I'll get it, I promise you. How? Oh. He'll give it to me. He'll give it to me himself. He begged me to take it. Understand. I... You know, this chain gang routine wasn't part of the bargain. Country cops don't just use their guns on people unless they get a good reason. The man said questioning about a murder. I don't understand. I, I don't know what they were talking Mrs. about. Mrs. Nicholson, I'm not going to ask you again. <laughs> disappeared with the silver, miss. And he also took my black patent leather shoes, the ones with the taps on them. Well, I'm afraid we can't do anything about that now. We'll discuss it later. In the meantime, let's have some breakfast. Well, it's just that... Well, there's no use buying Ambrose any more books. What's the use of stalling, Jerry? If you won't tell her, I will. Mother, your pet tramp Ambrose has left. Every day's a sunny May day, a bright and gay day, how well we know. Barnum never in his heyday, Put on a finer show. Now, this is going just a bit too far. What is? Are you planning already to have a family? Would you object to minding your own business for just a few minutes? This is my business. How many grandchildren he has is every man's business. And if you're negotiating already with a maternity hospital... What? Let's see that. Some men say they can't have too many grandchildren, but I'm one that can. Don't you know an ad when you see one? 
<laughs> They've got a nerve soliciting a man's business before he's even married. <laughs> What would you have done if somebody had drawn on you? What on earth would anybody be wanting to draw on me for? Because you was asking for it. The way you walked in, the way your face was all scrounged up. It was just asking somebody to slap leather with you. Well? Look, Melody, you couldn't hit the hind end of your horse with a handful of bugshot, and you know it. There's something maybe you better remember. And never mind telling me how it didn't mean nothing to you. Just don't monkey around with nobody at all. Unless you want to see that belly blasted open. Junk, junk. He who borrows from Dagwood Bumstead borrows trash. It may be junk, but my junk is better than your junk. Now step aside. No, no, you, you, you step aside. Hey, wait a minute. I happen to own this fool in the head. Since when has it become your property? I discovered it. Step aside. Okay, if that's the way you want it, but here's your junk. Oh, so that's the way you want to play, huh? Here's your stuff. <laughs> get you anywhere with me, lady. What's the idea of doing 50 miles an hour down this boulevard? 50 miles? Why, we weren't even going 40, not even 30. Why, we could Wait a minute. You'll be backing over somebody. I'm going to give you a ticket. We don't want to go to any policeman's ball. Let me handle this. <laughs> um... Just for that, I'm going to take her driver's license away. I can't, can't I? Why? She has a feeling. You see, officer, it was like this. Uh, <clears throat> we've just won the car, isn't it, Ducky? <laughs> and uh, we were just trying it out. And, uh, well, uh, <laughs> we're regular fellows, and you look like a regular guy. And, well, how's about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll sort of pass it up this time, but uh, don't do it again, will you? Okay, handsome. Say, uh, where do you live? Oh, uh, why, two blocks to the right and one to the left. 
Uh, the Speckles Arm Department. Uh, <laughs> I'll be seeing you sometime. Okay. Hey, what's the idea of telling that big flatfoot that you live at the Freckle Arms? Well, I had to do something, didn't I? Well, you don't live at the Freckle Arms. You didn't have to invite that big pillow for a... That big... <laughs> Hi, kids. So that's it, huh? Now I am going to give you a ticket, and that's that. Let's go to Upton and get married. Today. Shall we? Shall we? You really would? Of course I would. <laughs> Come on. I dare us to get married. I couldn't now. I'm not anybody yet. What's that got to do with it, you silly? It's got everything to do with it. Everything. I want to be important enough for you. And Julie, if you'll wait for me, I will be. Thank <laughs> you. 